Hi, I'm Margaret and this is Margaret Lewin Quilting. Welcome. This is my second quilt of the sampler block shuffle and all my blocks are done. I'll insert a picture so that you can see all of them. But I'm struggling with my border. I haven't figured out what to do. I keep playing with it all week and every time I think I've got it and I'm gonna be happy with it, I look at it and go, hmm, I'm just not sure. So what I'm gonna do is turn to all of my fellow quilters and ask you guys for some help in picking out the outer borders of this quilt. Where I'm at at this point is, I'm gonna go with this dark brown fabric as the um, alternating block. So it'll be this dark brown all the way through here. The other thing that I did decide to do, because I really want the inside of this quilt to really float. So what I thought to do was I'm gonna take a piece of the background fabric here, the alternating black fabric, and I'm gonna put probably a one inch, maybe a one and a half inch strip all the way around the quilt. So that will be a first border, but you're really not gonna see it like a border because of the background fabric and the setting triangles. So I'm good to there. My next thing is I've got my little flying geese, and then this is the zigzag border that I'm working on, and I really like the zigzag. Then this is my outside border, which is the same fabric that's in here. So this is where we're at. We're trying to figure out what to do as a transition from here to here, and then trying to figure out if we want another transition or another border from here to here. So these are the fabrics that I thought I would work with. It's, an, it's a nice little pink. I'll show it to you closer so you can see it. So a nice soft pink. And then like a burgundy brown with a little bit of pink in it. This is part of, these two pieces are definitely part of the Alice's scrap bag line. So this was my first thought, was I was gonna take that darker strip and just put it right in between those two sets of blocks and then do the brown border. And I kept looking at that and I just kept thinking, I don't, I just didn't like it. I don't know. I think it's almost the red in there, this little teeny tiny bit of red. Maybe it's that that I don't like, but I'm just not happy with it. So I didn't like that. So then I went, okay, well, let's put a pink strip in and then do another one so that I could kind of frame these two little borders. And then I thought, I just, I didn't know. I thought maybe that was too much. So then I went back to this that I didn't love, but I thought it just might do it for me. And I still can't decide. So then I went, okay, well, let's go back to the pink in there. And that I kind of liked, but not 100%. So I need your help. I need you guys to help me figure this one out. So do I do the flying geese, the pink, the zigzag, the pink and the brown, or does anybody like this strip in the middle? And then this like on the outside, or the brown with the strip of pink first or the two pinks with the brown or just the one pink with the brown. So somebody please 
give a fellow quilter a little bit of help because I need some input. We really want to get this quilt done. I'd like you guys to see the finished quilt and I want to get it on the long arm. So I'll take a picture of it in a couple of different ways and insert them. And hopefully one of you guys will give me some help on getting this thing done. So hopefully next week we will be finally at the very end of the sampler block shuffle. Quilt number two. today. I'm awful glad that you stopped by and please let me know what you think. What borders the best? Thanks. I'll see you next week. Bye.